Today you're joining me, Sherry Rempel, as we talk about coping with financial stress in this week's edition of Take 10 with the Counseling Team. Financial stress is something that can affect people of all ages at any stage of life, and it's often a hidden problem, very common in post-secondary students, and can lead to poor academic performance or lead some students to even quit their educational plans. If you worry about money, you are not alone. In July of this year, there was uh, this great survey, financial stress survey uh, from FP Canada, that surveyed Canadians right across the country. Uh, keep in mind that July was right in that middle of pandemic, and I shouldn't say middle, um, but in the midst of the pandemic. And uh, it was interesting to find that money was the number one stressor for Canadians. So that was even higher than personal health issues, uh, work, relationships, anything like that. Money was the number one stressor for Canadians. So if you're worrying about money, you are not alone. In that survey, they also found that 52% uh, of Albertans reported COVID-related financial stress. So of course, that could be related to job loss or uh, not being able to find work. Maybe people weren't able to go out and work and earn an income uh, due to restrictions at that time or so on. So number one stressor for Canadians uh, in July was money. What I hear a lot from our team, the counseling and wellness team here at the college, is that many of our students deal with um, funding issues, financial insecurity. Uh, by that we mean sometimes a paycheck comes in, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, low income, uh, maybe when they do get paid, it's not enough to make ends meet. Um, Maybe there's issues with sponsorship or financial uh, support in some way. And many of our students also uh, struggle with high debt loads. Also, we take into account that coming to school is a big time commitment. That's time that you have to spend on school and not out in the work field or workplace working and earning an income. So financial stress certainly is one of the many uh, significant areas of concern that we get a lot of students coming to us to talk about. So if you are dealing with this, you are not alone. You've heard me talk so far uh, in our short webinar here about financial stress, and I'm using those terms on purpose. So being worried about your finances, um, maybe you have issues with budgeting, whatever it is, you know, we have all all sorts of sayings that we use to kind of make this sound nicer, right? Like, oh, I'm just a little short, uh, just waiting for payday, waiting for my check to come in, all those things. Whatever it is that, that is behind it, financial stress is a very real stress. And some signs that maybe finances are getting into that stressful category and it's affecting your health, relationship, and like I said earlier, your ability to succeed at school um, here are some of those signs. Maybe you're fighting a little bit more with the people around you. If you're having trouble sleeping, you're feeling angry, defensive, fearful. Maybe you're just irritable, not quite yourself. You're tired, you're achy, you don't feel like eating. Maybe you've changed your routine, you're withdrawing from some people around you. These are just some of the signs that maybe the burden that you're carrying about your finances is really starting to affect you. So we want you to be aware of that. But we don't want to leave you alone in sitting with that feeling. We want you to know that there is help available. So I've got a couple slides now uh, that I'd like to share with you some tips for financial help, or financial health rather, that will help um, alleviate some of that stress. And the number one thing that you can do is to talk to someone. And to share that burden with somebody and I know that's a difficult thing we don't like to talk about our finances it's generally a very private topic so I want to reassure you that when you come to our counseling team uh, when you talk to us it is confidential we want to help you through this difficult time if that's what you're dealing with we want you to know that you're not alone and that you have supports so let's go on to the slides now. There's two slides here. Tips for financial health. One of the things that our students have found really helpful is to get a clear picture of how much money they have coming in 
at how much money they have going out. So maybe math isn't your strong point. That's okay. There's all sorts of tools that you can use. There's great online budget calculators and so on where they will do all the work for you. But you have background work and say, you know, for example, I've got childcare that's going to cost me you know, $900 that month. I've got food for the family. Okay, well, that's um, 700 or however much you're spending on it, gas, um, everything else in between. So it's about taking the, uh, the ideas of budgeting and then making it fit your life. And in doing so, you're creating a realistic budget that you can actually stick to. And that will help alleviate and lessen some of that stress that you're feeling. Something else I really want to share with you, and I hope you will do this, is to apply to scholarships, loans, and bursaries. So at Northern Lakes College, we have some great financial awards, or sorry, student awards and financial aid services. I really want to encourage you to uh, email them. Awards, A-W-A-R-D-S, at Northern Lakes College is how you can get a hold of them. Or you'll see on the slide here, there's a hyperlink to our website where there's lots of great other, other great information. So this is free money for students just sitting there. So please, please, please apply for those scholarships, loans, and bursaries. And there's some great, terrific information on how to do that. And we have people here that will help you do those applications. So don't let that stress you out. Let's help you get connected to some of these resources that can help you navigate financial uh, stress during your college time with us. Another great resource that our students have found very helpful is this book. It's called Money 101. And uh, we have a lot of these on hand. So we would love to mail you out a copy of this. Just let us know you'd like one. So drop us an email, counseling at northernlakescollege.ca. You can call the main switchboard or our direct number. Our direct line to our offices is uh, on the slide here. Just tell us you want a copy of that money thing. And we'll send it out to you. We'll send you a copy of Money 101 and uh, get that into your hands. And it's a great, really practical workbook. Um, really great for beginners. If money scares you, you don't know where to begin. Um, you know, for me, I didn't grow up in a family where talking about money was something we did. And so I had to, when I was in university, figure out how to do this on my own. And books like this really helped me. So I want to encourage you to request your free copy of that. There's also another great website. It's called Pay for Your Education. And this is a website brought to you by Government of Alberta Advanced Education. And uh, Pay for Your Education website. It's got, remember earlier I talked about the, those budget calculators. This is where you'll find those. There's great uh, budgeting for student life tools. So lots of great worksheets and videos. and interactive quizzes and so on. So this is a really great website to explore and uh, I spent some time on it last week as I was preparing for this and I really started going down this rabbit hole. Uh, there's just so much information on there but it is very simple and very clear and very helpful. So this is a great resource for you to have on hand. As you can see, you know, we're going through this and we started talking about financial stress and at the end we're talking about some resources. And that's not on accident. Um, it's done intentionally, A, to reassure you that um, you're not alone, that this is a common issue that many of our students face, and B, that there's help available. So if you'd like some more information about today's Take 10 topic, financial stress, I really want to encourage you to reach out to myself or another member of our counseling team. Maybe you know one of our counselors. Just give them a call. Um, if not, here's our office number and email. Um, give us a call and our lovely admin will set you up with a member of our team uh, to have a conversation about how we can help you. Now, one of the ways that we love to help you, and I hope that you will enter, check this out, you guys got your chance, your weekly chance to win an NLC wellness swag bag. So every week when we do our take tens, uh, we give away a wellness swag bag. It's got about $100 worth of great goods in there. Um, some wonderful stuff uh, just to brighten your day. So we'd like to share that with a lucky student this week. Uh, so the email address, what you do to enter is you email counseling at northernlakescollege.ca. 
C-O-U-N-S-E-L-L-I-N-G at northernlakescollege.ca. And all you have to do is put in the subject line, money. And that'll enter you into that draw. So we're going to draw for that on Friday of this week. We hope to get many entries, and we look forward to getting this in the hands of a lucky student. I'd like to thank you for joining us today, and we will see you back here on Tuesday. Uh, so every Tuesday we do these Take 10 webinars, and uh, also a quick reminder that if you are listening to us live, absolutely please. Also, if you're listening to us on our YouTube channel, you can still enter for this. So you have up until Thursday. Uh, so full day Thursday on Friday, we check our email. Any last entries go in the go in the draw box and, and find a lucky winner. So please, if you're listening to this on YouTube, don't think that you've missed out. Uh, you can absolutely participate in this draw. So look forward to uh, any questions or email, any emails you want to send. We'd love to support you. Um, please don't struggle with this alone. We're here to help. So take care all. Have a great week. We'll see, see you back here on Tuesday.